Hey there, Chris from the Old Man Cycling Show again. Another uh, quick check-in with you. Uh, today I was going to give uh, my initial impressions of the uh, Kogel bottom bracket and pulley wheels. Um, got about 200 miles on the bike so far with the bottom bracket and the pulley wheels, upgraded drivetrain, uh, repacked bearings on the wheels, etc, etc. So just thought I'd give my initial impressions. Um, but before we get to the good stuff, as always, I'm going to ask you if you're watching this, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, lets me uh, build better content, newer content. Uh, all you gotta do is click on that little subscribe button, click on the bell notification icon so you're informed when I make new videos, and uh, you know, enjoy the content. So with that said, let's get right into it. So like I said, I have about 200 miles on the uh, bottom bracket and uh, pulley wheels. Uh, as if you didn't watch the episode, I purchased a Coggle uh, ceramic bottom bracket. Um, it's ceramic bearings, ceramic shell, and ceramic pulley wheels for my uh, Dura Ace. Uh, 11 speed derailleur. So um, I didn't get oversized pulley wheels, I just got the regular size pulley wheels so I didn't have to replace the cage. Uh, I also repacked uh, the hubs on my Shimano Dura AC24 rims, uh, rewrapped the bars, put a new chain on, put a new cassette on, so on and so forth. So, um, you know, did a lot of, did a lot of work. Um, and so now I'm going to give my initial impressions of what I think. Uh, first first question is going to be do I think that the bottom bracket and the pulley wheels were worth roughly the $300 that I paid for? Uh, that's a very subjective question. I don't really have any objective data to measure that against. I, I don't know if it's increased my power. I don't know if it's increased my wattage. Uh, you know, all I can tell you is, excuse me, that the uh, drive train feels great. It is smooth. It is quiet. It uh, it feels frictionless. I mean, if there's, there's no really other way to say it. It's a very subjective call but it does feel much, much better. Now, is it worth the roughly 300 US dollars I paid for it? Time will tell. I mean, if I get to the life that I expect to get out of this, um, yeah, I would say it's worth it. It's definitely smooth. I mean, it, it, it just spins. I feel no, uh, no rub, no grind, no anything in the cranks. Um, shifting is effortless. It always was though with the DI2 stuff, um, but it's, it's just, it's nice. Um, would I recommend it? Uh, yeah, I would recommend it. Um, for that at that price point, you know, three hundred dollars for the bottom bracket and pulley wheels. When you're looking at, you know, same thing in ceramic speed, it's probably gonna be double that. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's a, a good value if you're looking to get into a uh, ceramic. Again, you know, I don't have any objective data to measure on it, but it just feels better. I only have about two hundred miles on it, but you know, I'm gonna see what the expense is. I'll do another long-term upgrade sometime uh, update sometime later in the season. Now let's talk about some of the other things. So for the past uh, week or so, I've been riding down here in Key West. Um, it's always breezy down here. So, you know, that leads me to talk, want to talk about my Shimano Dura C24 wheels. They are ideal for down here. Um, they're, they're not a deep dish rim, so it's always breezy down here. I've had no, no effects from crosswinds. If I would have my Eastons down here, I know I would have been moving a little bit from the crosswinds coming back and forth. It's, it's just the way those wheels are. They're not a super deep dish, but they are deep enough that, um, you know, I would, feel, I would feel this kind of wind. Um, the only thing I wish I was able to do before I came down here was put tubeless tires on these wheels. Uh, so I'm running latex tubes. I ha I'm running them at about, uh, the rear's at about 105 PSI, the front's at about uh, 95. And it's a bumpy ride. The roads down here are not the best, especially the bike lanes. It's, you know, it's a repurposed shoulder. Um, it's bumpy, it's rough. Uh, you know, I wore gloves today for the first time um, because my hands are just getting shaking like you wouldn't believe so i would i would prefer to ride these rims with uh, tubeless tires they just didn't come in time i think the combination of these rims and and tubeless tires with a little, little lower pressure in this environment would be ideal uh, you know somewhere running about 85 um you know in the back and you know uh, 80 in the front i think would be perfect down here uh, would give you enough cushion at these bumpy roads you wouldn't feel them as much especially on, on the pinarello um Bar tape. Bar tape's bar tape. This bar tape's nice. It's cushiony. I like it. it gives a lot of padding. Um, it's it's nice. Uh, you know, what can be said? And it looks good. It's a good color. If you can take a look over there. It's a nice looking bike if I have to say so myself. Uh, what other things? Uh, brake pads. Didn't do a very good job in the rear brake. Uh, <laughs> I've been meaning to readjust it. it. It squeals pretty bad. Um, I just I have to tow it in a little bit. I just haven't gotten around to it. it I've been 
working and trying to get out and ride while I'm down here, so it hasn't been the easiest thing to do to try to adjust that. Just needs a little tweak, but it'll be good. So all in all, I'm really happy with the way things turned out. I'm happy with the uh, you know the wheels. I'm happy with the uh, drivetrain, cassette, uh, bottom bracket, pulley wheels, everything. Um, yeah, I would I would recommend them. So uh, there'll be a link to Coggle in uh, my description as always. And um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to pass them on. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, and again, I just uh, ask you please subscribe to the channel. Um, it'll it'll really help me build uh, my base and uh, put more content up here. So once again, this is Chris from the Old Man Cycling Show. Peace.